Hello everyone. In the previous video, we had discussed regarding the transportation problem using northwest corner rule and uh, <coughs> the transportation problem using row minimum method. So today, we shall discuss about the third method in transportation problem solving the transportation problem. So that is column minimum method. So this method is called as column minimum method. So the previous uh, method that is row minimum method. So uh, the type how we had solved the problem was we used to select the minimum value we used to select the minimum value in a row and then we used to allocate uh, the number of units to that particular <coughs> cell comparing the demand and supply so similar way here the only difference with row minima and column minima is in row minima we select the minimum value in the in a particular row in this particular method in the column minima method as the name itself suggests uh, we select the minimum value in the particular column. So, uh, let us just look into the problem now. Column minimum method to determine the initial basic feasible solution to the following transportation problem using column minimum method. So here they have given us all the details regarding the price of each unit so that is uh, mentioned in the they have written in the matrix that is uh, six three five four five nine two seven. 5786 so these are the uh, price value price values of each units in that particular cell and they have mentioned in the last column they have mentioned about the available capacity so we can write it as availability or we can write it as uh, the supply supply capacity so here they have uh, they have given us like it is available or availability so that is 22 15 and 8 so that is the supply of that particular product the number of units so 22 units 15 units and 8 units so those are the uh, number of units uh, we have we have the supply of those units uh, those number of units and similar way we have a demand we have a demand in the last row last row so that is they have mentioned demand like 7 12 17 and 9 so we know uh, the available capacity we know the demand so straight away we shall look into the uh, problem how to solve the problem so the first step first step in solving the problem so here just look into the matrix now uh, select the minimum value in the first column so let us consider the first column we shall start solving uh, from the first column itself so the first column so we have the value 655 five. so we have to select the minimum value in that particular column so here there is a type there is a tie between uh, two numbers 5 and 5 so both are minimum value so whichever you like you can select to uh, allocate a particular cell or whichever the value you want to select either the middle one 5 or the last one whichever is uh, whenever we have uh, a tie between two numbers you can select any number any number so here uh, I am going to select the last I am going to select the last uh, number that is 5 5 so just look into the <coughs> demand and supply so these are the demands so that is 7 12 17 and 9 and 22 15 and 8 are the supply capacity or the supply so now uh, we have allocated this particular position so 5 so in that particular position so just look into that column so what is the total demand so here the total demand is 7 the total demand is 7 similarly just look into the same row same row so what is the uh, total what is the total <coughs> supply so here we have a supply of 8 units so we have a, a supply of uh, 8 units so that is uh, the demand is 7 and the supply is 8 so we have access of we have 1 unit in the supply so that is why the all the demand of 7 units can be fulfilled all the demand of 7 units can be fulfilled so that is why I am allocating those number of units in this particular cell where we have select where we have identified the minimum value in the particular column so i am allocating seven so all the demand all the demand has been met so we we are not uh, uh, we have fulfilled the demand so that is why just strike out seven just strike out seven so we are left with zero demand at the same time in the same row so what is the supply we had we had a supply of 8 units we had a supply of 8 units so that is why we have used 7 7 out of 8 so that is why I strike strike this particular value 8 and we are left with supply of 1 unit so now 
wherever you go wherever we have got zero so either in the row or in the column so where we have got zero you just strike out that entire entire row or column so here I have got zero zero in this particular column because all the all the demand demand of seven units has been uh, fulfilled. So that is why I have I have allocated that number seven in this particular position. So that is why we have got zero here, uh, uh, zero here. So that is why I am striking out this particular column. So strike out the entire column. Strike out the entire column. Now moving on to the next step. Next step. So now we are left with three columns three columns so again select the first column here select the first column uh, select the minimum number minimum value or the minimum value in this particular column in this particular column so that is why 397 so those are the numbers so out of that minimum is 3 minimum is 3 so once you uh, once you select minimum value just look into that supply and the demand supply and the demand so the supply the demand is 12 demand is 12 at the same time the supply supply is 22 we have a excess of 10 units here so we have a demand of 12 units so the all the uh, the demand the complete demand can be fulfilled with the supply of 22 units so that is why whichever is minimum value or whichever uh, value we have got minimum demand or supply so that has to be allocated in this particular position minimum minimum value position so here we meet all the demands that is 12 out of 12 can be met so that is why just strike out 12 so we are left with zero demand so all the 12 uh, units have been the demand of 12 units have been fulfilled by the supply of 22 so now just strike out this 22 also we are left with 10 because we have supplied 12 units 12 units have been supplied so that is why we are left with the supply of 10 units so just write down that 12 or that allocate that 12 the uh, 12 in this minimum value position or allocate to this particular position and now where, wherever we have got zero see in this particular column we have met the full demand so that is why uh, i am left with zero demand so that is why here we have got the zero value just strike out the entire column just strike out the entire column now let us move on to the next step step 3 so now we are left with two columns that is uh, 5 4 2 7 8 6 so these are the numbers and again we have the supply of 10 15 1 and here we have a demand of 17 and 9 now again select uh, this particular column this particular column so here uh, we have the numbers in this particular column we have numbers like 5 2 and 8 so whichever is minimum whichever is minimum just mark that particular cell so that is 2 2 is minimum out of this 2 is minimum so i have written that particular number here minimum value is 2 and just look into the supply and uh, demand supply and demand so here we have a demand of 17 units we have a demand of 17 units at the same time we have a supply of 15 units we have a supply of 15 units so all the supply O15 has to be used to meet the demand of 17 so again we have a demand of two two more units so that is why the entire 15 the supply is being utilized to meet the demand of 17 so that is why whichever is minimum so here it is 15 15 just allocate that particular number in the minimum value position 15 has been used the supply of 15 has been used so that is why just strike out this 15 you have got zero a strike out that 15 we have got zero units of supply at the same time we have fulfilled the demand of 15 so that is why just strike out 17 so we are left with 2 we are left with 2 now whichever the row or column where you have got zero zero value just strike out that particular row or column so here i have got this row where i have got the value as zero so that is why just strike out that particular row that particular row strike out the entire row next we shall move on to the next step step 4 so again here i have two columns left out two columns left out so here uh, 5 8 and 4 6 so let us consider the first column again a similar way let us consider the first column so here in this particular column whichever is minimum so here 5 and 8 out of 5 and 8 5 is minimum 
pi is minimum i am uh, i am selecting the column minimum column minimum pi so to this particular position now when we look into this particular position so what is the supply and demand so here we have a demand of 2 and supply of 10 we have a demand of 2 and supply of 10 so that demand can be fulfilled with the supply of 10 so 2 can be used from the supply out of 10 so that is why just strike out this 2 so it becomes 0 the uh, demand becomes 0 at the same time out of 10 we have used 2 that just strike out this 10 we are left with supply of 8 units 8 units and just allocate this particular value the demand is fulfilled 2 so whichever is minimum so we have got so that particular uh, value that has to be allocated in this minimum value position so allocate 2 allocate 2 a demand of 2 can be met with the supply of 10 so we are left with 8 supply of 8 units so 2 is fulfilled the demand is fulfilled so that ha that has to be written in this particular allocation so the minimum is 5 allocate to that cell strike out the entire column so wherever we have got 0 just strike out the entire column so just strike out the column next we shall move on to the next step last step probably this will be the last step so where uh, we have only two numbers four and six one column is left out so here we have uh, out of four and six whichever is minimum we have to select so here uh, column minimum is four column minimum is four so that is why what is the supply what is the supply and what is the demand you have to look in so here we have uh, a demand of nine we have a demand of nine and we have a supply of eight we have a supply of eight so that is why the entire supply has to be used to fulfill the demand of 9 so we i am using 8 out of 8 out of 9 so 8 supply out of 9 so that is why just write that particular fulfilled uh, value in this particular position in this particular position so i am writing 8 8 supply of 8 units has been used <coughs> out of 9 so here just strike out 9 i am left with only one the demand of one unit similar way just strike out 8 all the supply has been used so i am left with zero so what happens here so wherever i have got zero just cancel out or just strike out that particular row i am striking out this particular row and finally we have the final allocation that is uh, only one position six where we have the demand is one as well as supply is one so just um, just we have the balance now so that one unit has to be placed in this particular allocated position <coughs> So hence we have completed the column minimum method the final allocation so the final allocation is as follows so write the matrix so wherever we have allocated the values so just write those allocations and where we have these allocations just multiply that those values those number of units into the price of each unit the number of units into the price of uh, each unit so that has to be added that has to be added and what is the total so that is the total transportation cost so now here we have 3 as the price of the unit and 2L as allocation so 3 into 2L pi into 2 plus 4 into 8 plus 2 into 15 plus 5 into 7 plus 6 into 1 so finally the minimum transportation cost that becomes 36 plus 10 plus 32 plus 30 plus 35 plus 6 that is equal to rupees 149 so that is the end of the problem so here we have got minimum transportation cost as 149 minimum transportation cost as 149 so that is the end of the problem thank you